What's up, y'all? Terrell Friday here with Future DDS. Tyler Brown here with Future DDS. And today we continue our application series discussing the question how important are grades when it comes to applying to dental school? If this is your first time visiting our channel, we are here to help pre dents get into dental school as well as give everybody a glimpse into our dental school experience. So if you haven't already, please go and subscribe below as well as hit that notification bell so that you know whenever we post new content. While talking to some of our subscribers, we keep getting this recurring question of how important are grades truly, actually? You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! Well, tell the truth. They're really important. Like, yeah. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're pretty important. important. Even though grades are extremely important, this isn't to say that if you do have a GPA that's a little bit lower than the average, that you don't have a chance to get into dental school because that's just not true. Yeah, it's not the end all be all. So we're gonna take you through a few different scenarios that can kind of paint the picture of a few different applicants. So you're someone with really, really high grades. And in fact, this is all that you really even cared about. And because you cared so much about your grades, you're a 4.0 student, or at least close to it, and you did extremely well on your DAT. You have a 4.0, and you did really well on your DAT, but is this the all, end all be all? It could actually be your downfall. You know, if you spend all your time in the library, not building any relationships, you know, not getting out there, getting shadow one hours in, not doing any community service, not doing any type of extracurriculars. If you're really just a one direct dimensional student and you only have one focus, that being grades and the DAT, you might put yourself in a worse situation than you know someone that could be more well-rounded. Right, but the student, of course, he doesn't care because he heard that admissions directors really, really, really only care about the GPA and the DAT. Yeah, so think someone like this will get in or not? Now let's say you're a student with great extracurriculars. You know, you're the president of your pre-dental society. You're on the fencing team. Um, you know, you do debate club. And because you, you've done debate club, you've been able to go to Washington, D.C. and, and meet, met legislators on, on dental health or whatever it may be. So you have really, really high connections in the dental field. But because you were running around doing all these different things, you might have spread yourself a little bit too thin and your grades might have suffered. While you know, you're maintaining all these other extracurricular activities and, and remaining in high standing with all these different relationships and people, your grades happened to suffer, your GPA suffered a little bit. And when you took the DAT, you didn't necessarily perform the way you thought you would or the, the way you thought you needed to. So now we have a person with a whole bunch of great extracurriculars, great connections, but they're lacking in some of the core departments. Do we think that this person is likely to get in? In the end, which student actually has the best chance of getting in? I'd say a well-balanced student. Definitely somebody who's focusing up on their school, their GPA, their DAT scores, as well as focusing on extracurriculars and make sure they're well-rounded with, you know, working in extracurriculars or intramurals or, you know, whatever you decide to do, whatever your passions are, making sure you're fully immersed in that and you're building those relationships outside of the classroom. Now, of course, the things that we said in this video aren't definitive. You know, I think we both can say that we know people who had really, really low GPAs yeah and still got in. And we also know people who are super smart, had like 4.1 GPAs, did amazingly DAT, but did nothing else. And they were still able to get into the school. Yeah. But I, I do want you know the audience to, to recognize that these people are outliers and this is not the norm. If you feel like you're, you know, the, your performance in undergrad was kind of lacking in either of these areas, you know, maybe taking a gap year where you decide to, you know, focus on a master's if your GPA is low, or if you focus on, you know, more shadowing and exposure opportunities if your GPA is good, but you just need more dental exposure. So, you know, taking this gap year, taking this time to actually develop yourself as a complete applicant is definitely something that, you know, I would advise personally, and, you know, I'm sure Tyler would do the same. No, definitely same, same, so that you'll be able to come to be more of a more of a, a balanced candidate, you know, because going to a master's program, it will help, you know, and if you say you are one of those people who goes to the master's program, get to 4.0 or close to it, yeah. you know, we can't say that the missions at the dental school actually 
overlook your poor performance in undergrad, but what they definitely will see is that you did turn a new leaf and that you are able to handle the rigorous coursework. Yeah, it's definitely, you know, showing that you can handle the coursework as well as showing dedication and saying, okay, I don't feel like I'm, I'm able at this point or I, I've got feedback that I'm not necessarily the ideal candidate at this point and what am I going to do you know in the future to, to change that so. right exactly all right y'all that's going to wrap it up another video of the application series thank you guys for tuning in and of course if you have any more questions check out the other videos of the series and hopefully they answered it and if not go down to the comment add your question there if it's something more personal you can head over to Instagram follow us at underscore future DDS and send us a DM there and we'll get to you. We'll have a more personal conversation about any questions that you have. Make sure you hit the subscribe, like button as well and notification bell so you know that whenever we're putting up new videos, you know, any, anything new we post up on YouTube. Also, if you have any, you know, want to end up look or you just want to look at it in your own time, we have a link to the actual ad size of application instructions down in the description. Go down there, click it, look over everything that you actually need to do and you know, good luck with that application cycle. Go forward.